The Ukrainian army recently carried out a successful attack on Balbek airport in Crimea. The Ukrainian army announced that 10 Russian soldiers were neutralized in this attack. But among them was a very important name for the Russians. That name is Alexander Tatarenko. Tatarenko was appointed commander of the aviation forces and air defense of the Central Military District of the Russian Federation in 2016. He held the rank of military pilot first class. However, Alexander Tatarenko was not the first Russian general neutralized by Ukrainian forces. The Ukrainian army has recently neutralized Russian soldiers of the rank and file, which is very important for the Russians. In late November 2023, Brigade Commander Volodymyr Zavatsky, former deputy commander of the 14th Army Corps of the Russian Armed Forces, was neutralized in Ukraine. Earlier, Ukrainian Defense Intelligence confirmed information about the neutralization of the commander of the Krasnodar submarine Stanislav Rizitsky, who was involved in missile strikes against Ukraine. In July 2023, Brigade Commander Oleg Sokol was neutralized in the temporarily occupied area in Russia's Berdyansk region. In June 2022, the Strategic Communications Department of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine confirmed the death of Brigade Commander Roman Kutuzov in the fighting near Popasna, Russia. These are some of the Russian generals neutralized by the Ukrainian forces. We know that the number of neutralized Russian rank and file soldiers is much higher. These are just the Russian rank and file that have been neutralized in recent history. What do you think about the Ukrainian offensive operations? The loss of generals and commanders of the Russian army is undoubtedly a great loss for the Russians. Do you think Russian leader Vladimir Putin can compensate for these losses?